Hello and welcome to The Builder's Bench, where we break down common issues with today's automatic transmissions. I'm Alex Chrissy, the editor of Transmission Digest, and with me here is Reno Partipilla from ATSG. He's our technical expert for this video series. Hi Alex, thank you for having me. I really gotta say you have a really nice shop out here, guys. Very yeah. nice, very nice. So today we're talking about the Chrysler 68 RFE transmission, and you've got a specific fault code you wanna talk about, right? Yes, I do. I wanna talk about a fault code that we're commonly seeing on these transmissions, which is a PO871, okay? That is for the overdrive pressure switch. Now, there are a few reasons for us to get this code on these transmissions. There's been a slew of problems with these things, from something internal to a wiring harness problem to also a PCM problem. Okay. But this one in particular I want to talk about is on a 2019, which is the newer model, and it actually has a blue solenoid connector on there, as we can see right over here. I had one recently come into the shop when it first came in, it had a PO871 code in there. So the shop went through the normal rebuilding of the transmission, got it all put back together, buttoned up real nice, put a brand new solenoid pack on there and they still ended up having the same code. Now, what happened with this one is, is after they did that, after they built it, or why they were building it, I should say, is we told them to take a look at the wires to make sure there was no damage in the wires. Now, there was no damage in the wires, so they figured it was something inside the transmission, which they found some things burnt up. After they rebuilt the transmission, they ended up having the same exact code. Now, what happened with this one is, is they went through the valve body, okay? Now in the 2019 models, there was a change in the uh, check ball locations for this thing. As we can see over here in this picture, when they rebuilt the transmission, they ended up putting the check ball in this location over here, okay? Now, when they put the check ball location over here, they did not put it into the, C, the 4C pocket. So what ends up happening in there is, the, the shop was telling me is once they started up, there was no codes and the code only came up when the vehicle was placed into the drive range. If we look at the hydraulic diagram over here, once the vehicle is placed into the drive range, mainline pressure goes through that oil passage and that 4C check ball is supposed to actually stop the oil from applying the pressure switch at that time. But since they put that check ball in the wrong location, mainline pressure was automatically engaging that pressure switch. The PCM was noticing that code comp was noticing that the pressure switch was being applied when it wasn't supposed to be applied and that's why it was setting the code. Uh, so, it was kind of a mistake of looking at where the check balls would go. Now, we ended up getting some of these pictures from Sonics, so I'd like to thank Sonics for showing us some of these pictures on there. And what we need to take a look at is, when we're looking at these newer transmissions, is to pay close attention to where all the check balls go at this point. Yeah, and that's a good lesson to take away, uh, you know, not just with the 68 RFE, but any transmission, make sure you know where all the check balls go and make sure it's the right model year. Correct, exactly, because model years change from year to year and check ball changes especially happen a lot in our field. So we need to be extra careful where all our check ball locations go. Yeah, definitely. All right, well, that's our tip for today and that is going to do it for this episode of The Builder's Bench. Be sure to tune in again next time for more transmission technical tips. Thank you for watching.